tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are going to explore our Cookie Monster toy collection. We have soft cookie monsters, talking cookie monsters, and little car cookie monsters. So let's explore together. Let's look at our Cookie Monster figures. First, we have our Weeble Wobble Cookie Monster. And he has a rounded bottom. And he moves back and forth and you can spin him around. Whoa! Right off the table. Next, we have our Cookie Monster figure, which you've seen in a lot of our videos. Check out our Sesame Street Toys Adventures. Some are outside. Some are in fun Fisher Price cars that make lots of sounds. Now we all know Cookie Monster loves to make chocolate chip cookies. This figure is looking a little old. Some paint has worn off, but he's got some cookie dough mix. Do you know what this is called, Tiny Fans? It's called a whisk. I usually whisk the kids eggs with the whisk and we make scrambled eggs. And then we have our newest Cookie Monster He's like cartoon-like figure, and he's got a half-eaten chocolate chip cookie. He's ready to take another bite. Um, nom, nom. We also have a collection of Cookie Monster vehicles. This one has big blue wheels. It's a chunky orange car that is sort of soft and rubbery. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And here is a race car. He is number two. He's eating a cookie. And here is a smaller race car. Oh, look, Cookie Monster is wearing his seatbelt. Good job. And he has, instead of a number, a logo of a cookie. And it's an orange car with two purple flags. I can hear the ding ding of the ice cream truck. And look who is driving and working today. It's Cookie Monster in a white uniform. He's got a cute little bow tie. And he's holding a pink ice cream with a cone. What kind of ice cream do you think it is? Maybe strawberry? Oh, he has other treats as well. Sandwiches, popsicles. Choo-choo! We even have a Cookie Monster train. And this time, Cookie Monster is eating healthy. Good job, Cookie Monster. You can't eat cookies all the time. Let's see what he's delivering. A big bin of bananas. And I also see apples. What's that, tiny fans? Cucumbers, plums, there's the banana, and of course, carrots. And I believe this cookie monster makes sounds. also have some soft plush cookie monsters. We have a smaller one and a big one. He's super soft and his mouth is wide open. This is one of our biggest cookie monster toys and look at how huge his chocolate chip cookie is. It's called Peekaboo Cookie Monster and when I squeeze his belly he'll play peekaboo with us. Next we have our Sesame Street Cookie Monster and Elmo phone. We even have a Cookie Monster ball ramp. And there are three balls, yellow, purple, and kind of a greeny blue. Let's try it out. Um, nom, nom, nom.
we have one more toy that we haven't looked at. Which one is it, tiny fans? It's our Cookie Monster cookie case. Let's open it up and see what is inside. We unhook the clips. Oops, one of the numbers has fallen off. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And on the other side are colorful cookies with some of Cookie Monster's friends underneath. It looks like Cookie Monster ate one of the cookies. It's missing. What color do you think is missing? Well, we have two green, two red. We only have one blue. I think we're missing a blue cookie. Oh, and there's Cookie Monster. We'll see who's underneath. Oh, there's Snuffy. I love Snuffy. Snuffleupagus. And Count. Who's under here? Bert. Hmm. Who do you think's under there? I think I have a guess. Could it be Big Bird? Yes, it's Big Bird. Oh, well, I hope you had fun with us, tiny fans, looking at all of our Cookie Monster toys. Our collection is getting quite large. And before I go, I just wanted to say, did you see the miniature Dora backpack somewhere earlier in the video? If not, you can go back and have a look. Thanks for playing with us today, tiny fans. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are here with Cookie Monster and a brand new Sesame Street Magna Tiles building set. Oh, these are so much fun and they're really good quality too. We just recently built one that was Daniel Tiger themed and it was the countdown to bedtime. So check it out. Now we've been making cookies today, haven't we, Cookie Monster? Mmm, yeah, mm, oh, cookie, cookies. And Tiny Treasures Mini said they were bored, so I said, why don't you bake some cookies? Let's go have a look. Mmm, fresh out of the oven, chocolate chip oat. They're gluten free, so easy on the tummy. All right, let's open up the box and have a look. Now here is a little flyer that's gonna show us exactly what we can build. Oh, wow, we can build a cookie cake. Oh, and there is Cookie Monster, the big towel, oops. And we're gonna learn shapes today with these triangle cookie pieces. Okay, so I think I've decided to build our Cookie Monster shape cookie pizza today. And we just look at the diagram and follow along. So we have Cookie Monster's face and he needs his chef's hat. Let's look for the chef's hat. <laughs> Must be somewhere. Oh, I found it. And the cookie monster is on one side. And it's a triangle shaped cookie. So cookie monster's chef hat. It fits perfectly and the magnets are strong so it doesn't fall off. And underneath is the star cookie cutter. Now it's little wobbly so we need to secure it with Cookie Monster shoulders. And we need to have the other one here. We can bend it like that. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be very tricky. Oh, well, everything collapsed, tiny fans. So on to plan B. And it's okay if something doesn't work out the first time, we just try again. So I found another diagram with Cookie Monster just doesn't have the chef's hat on here because I just find that it's not going to stay on and we can still build our cookie. So let's try this again. We have the star and the shoulders. And I 
hold everything in place until we get part of our cookie made. So I will hold on. I could use one of the kids' help right now, but they're busy. Tiny Treasures Mini is reading a book about dinosaurs. All right, there we go. There's the circle. And then we have the square. Oh, perfect. And now it's starting to hold Cookie Monster together. Then we have the diamond shape. And now Cookie Monster is standing all by himself. Yay, success. Now we have to build the second half of our cookie. This is one half and we build the other half. So there are three pieces to each half. Okay, we have another shape. Do you know what this is? How many sides are there? Five sides, so it's called a pentagon. Then we have, oh, you know what this is, a star. And finally we have the triangle on the triangle shape. Oops. Now we have six more pieces left and we can build the wall of Cookie Monster's friends. So first we have Elmo and Big Bird and we're gonna angle them like that so they stand up on their own, perfect. All right, and next we have Oscar the Grouch and Grover. And then our last tiles, well, we have a Cookie Monster and Ernie. We're all done. That was so much fun. And there, of course, are many other things you can build with these magnet tiles. They're really good quality. So now it's time to clean up. But remember, tiny fans, to look for the Dora backpack somewhere earlier in the video. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have a new Sesame Street Cookie Monster toy, and it's called Cookies Counting Jar. There's different cookies that are numbered one to 10, and he has his cookie jar, and we're gonna feed Cookie Monster and listen to what he has to say, because he's gonna teach us some numbers today. We open up the box and we have all 10 cookies. And as you can see, each cookie has a different number and a different color. Here's number one. So number one has one chocolate chip. They are quite thick cookies. Hopefully Cookie Monster chews them so he doesn't choke. This is number six. So there are six chocolate chips. Cookie Monster has two buttons on his feet. One with a cookie and a bite out of it with one, two, three and a musical note. Let's play some music first. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Cookie stole the cookie from the cookie jar. Who me? Dum -de dum couldn't be dead. Uh oh, the kittens are up to mischief again. They are ripping the set. Silly kittens. All right, let's push the cookie button. We need to feed Cookie Monster four cookies. One, two, three, and four. Now what, Cookie Monster? Eight cookies? But we only have six cookies left. We better take two out of the cookie jar. We need two more to make eight. One, two, Three, four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Cookie Monster, we gave you eight cookies. Uh-oh, why is Cookie Monster not working? Is he turned on? Uh-oh, he turned off. The kittens must have turned him off. Snack time. Let's try this again. Let's empty out the cookies. All right, now the cookie monster is turned on. Let's push the cookie button again. Ah, I think Cookie Monster turns off all by himself when he says goodbye. Hmm, I had to turn him on again. Interesting. Two cookies. The red number one. And let me find number two. What color was number two? Oh, two was orange with a blue background. Five cookies. One, two, three, four, and five. Well, I think we've had enough learning fun with Cookie Monster today. <laughs> I think the kittens are destroying the set. So <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for learning with us today. Welcome to Tiny Treasures. Cookie Monster is baking more cookies. Let's see how many cookies are left in the cookie jar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yes, it's time to make a new batch of cookies. But Cookie Monster knows cookies are full of sugar. And so is candy. Sugar isn't good for our teeth. Especially sticky candies like these. Because Cookie Monster eats so many cookies, he has no teeth left. Uh-oh! Sugar can cause little holes in our teeth called cavities. So it's important to eat healthy fruits and vegetables most of the time. What's this? Cookie Monster has a dental set for kids. Let's open it up and have a look. Here is a set of teeth. Oh, it's the bottom teeth and there is even a tongue painted on. It's a wooden toy. Now normally kids have 20 teeth by the time they're three. If you get a cavity and you don't go to the dentist to get it fixed, they might need to pull a tooth with a tool like this. Ouch! Let's count teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Oh, look at all of the holes left in this mouth. We better put the teeth back so we can talk about how to take care of your mouth. Every day you need to floss your teeth just like this and even the backs of your teeth. Go in and out and side to side 
flossing is very important. It gets the food that is stuck between your teeth out. I brush my teeth twice a day. Put some toothpaste on, but don't swallow the toothpaste. You brush for two minutes. You brush the tops of the teeth. And you want to brush the front. Oop! Oh dear, we lost a tooth. I've got an extra one here. There we go. And it's important to brush softly and brush the pink part that are called your gums right below or above your teeth. And you need to also brush the very back of your teeth and your tongue because your tongue has bacteria that can make your breath smell. Then you spit and rinse after you're finished. Then when you go to the dentist, they have a look with a mirror and you go, ah, and the dentist can see if your teeth have any cavities. At home, we use a toothbrush called a Sonicare. It vibrates and takes a lot of the plaque out from between your teeth. Makes your teeth extra clean. Even animals need to take care of their teeth. We need to brush puppy's teeth. Oh, he wants a belly rub. Well, we hope you enjoy our videos. And if you love them, please hit the link below to subscribe to support our channel. Thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are outside with Elmo and Cookie Monster and they are sitting by an old birdhouse. Let's have a look inside and peek through the hole. Oh my goodness. It looks like part of a wasp's nest. I don't see any wasps, thank goodness. Usually wasps die off in the fall and only the queen will hibernate in the winter. But I don't even see a queen. Cookie Monster wants to show us what today's letter is. It's the letter E. E for egg. And the reason we say the word egg is because we are going to search for the golden egg today. It's a little cold outside. So it's a good thing that Cookie Monster and Elmo have thick fur to keep them warm. And they have large eyes to help them see. Do you see the golden egg, Tiny fans? Can you let Elmo and Cookie Monster know if you see it? Oh, I think I've spotted something shiny and gold. Do you see it? There's the golden egg. Ooh, it's very pretty. And it even says the golden egg. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.